Welcome to Dating, Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime. Uh, to all our returning guests and all our new guests, thank you so much for choosing this channel as your source of information. Now look at the subscribe button. In the event you have not subscribed and you're returning guests or you're a new guest, kindly subscribe. And if you are asked to sign in, log into your Gmail account, come back to YouTube and hit the subscribe button and let us to go, grow together and give me the energy to give you more and more tips that will make us a better society. Today I'm looking at something very personal and uh, let me raise up your imagination. What are the things you wish you knew when you were at the age of 20? What are those things you wish someone talked to you about and gave you energy to do when you were at that age 20? Do you feel you should have been, you could have been a better person than you are now? Well, it's never too late. Let's give it to our nieces, let's give it to our loved ones, let's give it to the neighbors, let's give it to those people that are around us that are within their 20s and 20 something and maybe they're approaching their 30s. Things they should do that will make their later lives much better. Today's topic is uh, the seven ultimate life advices to my 20 year old child. Hope, can see me? This is very personal to me. As you watch this video, learn. And all your friends and all those people who are within that same age group as you, pick a leaf. You will thank me in later life that it was worth your time. It was worth listening to. Let's go. Number one, trust in God with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your life. It is useless to excel within your 20s and enjoy your life and everything, and God is not anywhere. As you trust in God, obey your parents. Listen to what your parents say. The Bible says that when you listen and obey your parents, your life on earth is going to be long. So don't die young. Obey your parents, listen to God, and let your life be long. And as you obey God, live at peace with all men. Don't involve yourself in things that do not concern you. It is always good for you to obey God, listen to your parents, and live at peace for as long as it is within your power. Number two, make every moment count. Do not concentrate on time wasters. As a young person, there are so many things that come around you that want to take your time. There is alcohol, there are drugs, there is sex, there is bad company, there is rebellion, there is godlessness everywhere. Do not give it time. Concentrate on your dream. Choose what you should be in 30 years. Start on it when you are in your 20s. As soon as you clock 20, my daughter, my son, pursue that which concerns you. Number three, you can never please everyone. In fact, the more you try to please everyone, the more you will find yourself annoying everyone. And so, do not try to please everyone. Stay in your space. Don't jump to Jane's place, to John's place to help. You cannot fix people's problems. Even Jesus said the poor will always be there. The needy will always be there. Do that which you feel you can do within your space. Okay? Don't run from house to house trying to please people. You will end up annoying everyone. And so my daughter, my son, stay in your place. Those who are worth it, they will come in your space and you will please them. And those who feel you are worth it, they will call you to their space and they will please you. So don't try to please everyone. You will end up displeasing everyone. For everything you do, my daughter, this is number four. For everything you do, give it your best. Even if it looks as small as anything, put your energy to it. You're washing dishes in a restaurant, please give it your best. You're doing something within your house, give it your best. Are you at school? Give it your best. Are you working on anything that you feel it is so small? Give it your best. It is those small 
uh, home things, uh, small projects that nobody seems to notice that will lead you to excel even in bigger projects. So for all these small projects, give them your best. Are you practicing on 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 sewing? Are you practicing on on you know making a movie? Are you practicing on singing? Give it your best. When you're finally big, you will have had the experience with this other small beginning. My daughter number five, my son number five, you can never know everything. You can never be super knowledgeable and it is okay not to know. In the event you do not know, be free to say, I do not know that. I have no experience in that. And then seek advice. It is very smart to seek advice, to ask for help from your parents, from your trusted aunties and uncles, from someone, even if it is your classmate or, or, or neighbor or workmate, someone who knows better than you. Be humble enough to ask for advice and continue reading. Read if it is something that you, you, you want to pursue. You want to pursue public speaking. You want to pursue, you want to excel in journalism. You want to excel in table maths. You want to excel in anything. My child, seek advice. Read, read and read. Buy books. If you want to learn how to cook, buy a cookbook and learn how to cook. Number five. Take a step at a time. Many people excel at different times. And they will tell you, you must finish college by, by 24. You must get married by 25, by 30. You must have children by 31. You must build a house by this time. It doesn't work. God gives each person their time frame. There are those who will excel even when they are 19 and they have all the things you're dreaming about. They are children who are young and they are five years old and they are brand ambassadors, they are millionaires. So accept what God purposes for you and work within that time frame. Give it your best, but do not be pressurized by the world standards of when you should be excelling or when you, 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 you cannot or, or, or people telling you that you, you are too far. And uh, no. That when you, whatever you're doing, fix your heart on it and make sure that you excel at it. Now, number seven. Did I mention number six? I think I combined it with other things. Now, number seven, and this is very important. Delete everyone from your circle that does not add any value to you. Delete every person that steals your joy. Delete every person that brings you down. Delete every person that does not support your cause, your dream, or where you want to go. And let me tell you, my child, people have different destinations in life. And so your destination will not be somebody else's destination. Concentrate on your own destination. Whoever is not fitting into your plans, drop, delete. You have the power. Don't stick with someone because you want, because they have really stuck around. And let me tell you, people come for a season. And when that season is done, whether you try to hold on or not, it will not hold. You will get pain and disappointment and rejection and suffering from those relationships. So delete, capital letters, bold underlined delete them and uh, stick with people choose people who support your dream choose people who are working with you choose people who give you positive energy choose people who uh, you know people who will push you forward into what you have set your mind to do i will repeat the summary number one fear god respect your parents and uh Live at peace with all men. Number two, every moment counts. Avoid time wasters. Number three, you can never please anyone. If you try pleasing everyone, you will end up pleasing no one. Number four, for everything you do, do it with excellence so that these small beginnings will lead you to a better, bigger public you know, uh, project. Number five, 
you cannot know everything. Seek help, look for information and learn. Number six, take one step at a time. Learn and fix your mind on that thing that you want to achieve. At God's appointed time, you will get there. Number seven, delete people who bring a lot of negative energy in your life. Do not give them a space. People come into your life for a season, and when that season is done, they will drop off. Let them be. Thank you so much for listening to this video, for watching this video up to the end. And I'm asking you once again, kindly subscribe. It will give me a lot of, uh, of energy, and I'll be bringing you more information. Bye-bye for now. God bless you, and I am praying for you that your later life is going to be better than your current life. Thank you so much. God bless you.